Chapter 8 Treatment Unit Leader The need to create a treatment area is incident specific. In most situations, the patients can be triaged, packaged, and rapidly transported from the incident, which mitigates the need for a separate treatment area. Conditions that may trigger the need for treatment areas and the formation of a treatment unit would be an anticipated delay in transportation due to a lack of transport resources or hospital beds, an incident with a large number of victims, or decon will almost always require the formation of a treatment unit. When deemed necessary as part of the IC's evaluation of the scope of the incident, the treatment unit leader position is established. Hi, Heartland Engine 9. Yes. Um, I want you to, I'm going to assign you the treatment unit leader. I want you to set up your treatment areas right next to where the uh, triage unit leader is, right next to San Diego Engine 9. Here's your best and your duties and responsibilities. Okay, copy that. Treatment leader will set up. IC should assign a minimum of four personnel to assist the treatment unit leader in effectively managing the treatment areas. The treatment unit leader must assign treatment area managers to supervise the treatment of the patients. The first manager to be assigned is for the immediate treatment area. One of the first duties of the immediate treatment manager is to identify and set up the immediate treatment area. This is most commonly accomplished with red tarps, flags, or cones. The immediate treatment area must also be located close to the ambulance loading area. The delayed and minor treatment areas should follow similar procedures. An important role of the treatment unit leader is to anticipate the needs of the treatment areas and communicate the need for a cache of medical equipment, supplies, and other needs through the incident commander. During the transition of patients from the triage unit to the treatment unit, the triage unit leader will provide turnover to the treatment unit leader to include the number and acuity of the patients. As more personnel are assigned to the treatment unit, the process of re-triage should take place to reconfirm patient status. The treatment unit leader shall communicate with the transportation group supervisor to coordinate the transportation of patients from the transportation unit. Once all patients have been moved from the triage unit to the treatment unit or to the transportation area, the triage unit leader should work directly with the treatment unit leader to assure the most critical remaining patients are transported first.